okay for this assignment you are going to learn how to create a movie database so I already have mine created but you will start one from scratch so file new blank database and then you will navigate to save this go to save as save database as click yes you will go to your Google Drive your little shortcut to your Google Drive I don't have a third or seventh period BIM folder but you go to your third or seventh period BIM folder and then you're going to navigate to your BIM folder and I have mine listed in weeks but you have yours listed as in access word Excel PowerPoint so you need to click on your access folder I'm going to click on my week six and then you need to name it your last name not my last name your last name underscore movie database you do not have to add the 2020 I'm just adding that because I have another database um, but again your last name underscore movie database it needs to be located in your BIM folder and this needs to say access for you not week six you'll say access and then you're gonna click save all right and then you're gonna enable content and then you're going to click create table again enable content in the middle if the little yellow ribbon is still showing up you need to click on that and then create table all right so now I have okay so now I've opened the database that already has names and titles labels and this is the new one this is what yours looks like so first we need to name our table there's several ways to name your table um, but for this tutorial we're just going to right click and click save because it hasn't been saved yet and it's going to ask you what do you want to name it and you're going to name it movie database movie database and then you're going to click okay all right then there's two views there's several different ways to get views you can use the views from here data sheet view and design view right now it's in data sheet view we're going to put it in design view you can also right click and change those here as well all right so now you're going to enter some information in your table that looks like what this table looks like here you also have an, a handout another attachment in Google Classroom um, so I'm gonna pause it and get this information put in and you follow the picture that you have in Google Classroom that looks like this okay you have this attachment in Google Classroom and this is the information you need to put in so I'm going to pause this and put my information okay so while you're entering your information you want to make sure this first one used to say auto number or I can't remember said something number you need to make sure you hit the drop down menu and change that to short text you also need to make sure that you enter this information that's listed in the description for this tutorial I'm not going to enter the information in the description but you need to have the information entered in your description okay so again this one was probably set on auto number so you need to make sure it's on short text and then you need to make sure you go ahead and enter the description information again for this tutorial I'm not going to enter that description okay so movie title is short text star which means like actors you can also do actor and actresses if you want um, but it's just the movie stars is what that means we'll just say movie stars it's fine so you don't get confused movie stars because you'll add two movie stars later um, years released you're gonna make this a number so switch to go to years released you need to make sure you have this one drop down and it's a number it's gonna be a number okay so it's gonna say number and then down here in the input mask 
we're actually going to enter this zero 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 semicolon semicolon so four zeros they're not O's they're zeros and then semicolon oops, that's regular colon and then semicolon semicolon okay and then you're gonna switch to data sheet view it's gonna say do you want to save this table and you're gonna say yes and then here it's only see there's four it's only gonna let you enter four numbers so you'll have to delete the number that's there and then say like 1999 is when it was released okay so you won't enter a number right now I'm just if you double click on these it makes them bigger but we can go over that later in class okay we're gonna go back to design view and we are going to create what's called lookup wizards so we're gonna go make sure you're in genre and you're gonna go down to lookup wizard and you want to type your own values and then you're gonna type some information down this column which you have the page in your Google Classroom. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to put my information in. And then you follow the page in Google Classroom. You have this page as an attachment in Google Classroom. So this is what you're going to be typing down. Go down the column. Okay. And then you can click next, but then wait on me. All right. So you're going to make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six. types of genres for movies these you need these six don't make your own up okay click next and you want to limit to the list because you do not want someone to pick something other than the list and we are not going to check this because we don't want to allow multiple genres to be checked and then we're going to click finish okay and if you were to click back into data sheet view yes you can say yes you want to save your changes when you go to genre, you have this drop down menu and you should have all six. If you don't, then you need to pause the video and go back and repeat that step. Um, you'll have to completely re um, redo it. All right. So now we're going to move on to the next. Okay, we're going to create another lookup wizard. So we're going to, in ratings, we're going to click the drop down menu and go to lookup wizard. We want to type our own values again. And this is going to be for our ratings. So we're going to have G, you can down arrow, PG, down, hit the down arrow, PG 13, R, and then NR. So NR is not rated. So if you find a movie that's not rated, then you can um, enter that one again. So it's going to be G, PG, PG 13, R, and NR. And click next. Limit to list. Uh, we're not going to change the title and the label. It's already there. We're not going to do multiple. And we're going to click finish. And then when you go back into data sheet view, click yes. You want to save changes. And you have your drop down menu. Okay, then we're going to go back to design view. We're going to click here on numbers. No, I'm sorry. We're going to click here on rating. And we are going to Okay, so now we're done with ratings. We're going to click up here, this little key. And you can just click over here to remove it. Or you can right click and click here and remove it but we want to take that key off so again if you have to click the movie title row and click primary key and you don't want the key to show up you want it to be off okay now we're going to save and so right click save and then close this database not X out over here so you can close it by clicking here or you can right click save and right click close Okay, then you need to select your database over here. Select your table, and we're going to create a form. So create form. Have your table selected. Create form. And I'm going to pause. 
Okay, your form is not going to have a movie title or a year. I just put those in as examples earlier. Yours will be blank. So in order to view this to where you can type in it, you need to change it to form view and then you can type in it. So it's first it's going to be in layout view, I believe. Yeah, with the, the gold boxes, you can't type in layout view. So you need to go to form view. Um, we are not using design view. I will teach you design view later. So you want to be in, again, you can right click here and you want to be in form view. All right, so you have your movie, you have your database, movie database form. So we're going to click save and we're going to name it movie database form. So again, I right click save movie database form. So now you have a form. Okay, so you looked up movies and stars and genres all on um, another page that we did earlier in the week. So to get your information on your database here, you're not going to type it here. Okay, you're going to actually enter it one at a time with your form. So once you've entered one, you'll click new blank record and you'll enter your second form and then you'll keep going until you've entered all of your movies and then you will have them all listed on your database table. Okay. Again, this is not Google, so you need to make sure you save as you go. Right click save, right click close, right click save, right click close, and this becomes grayed out. So you know you have nothing else to save, and that's when it's safe to close your database. So once you've entered all of your movies from your list that you did in Google Docs, then you will have a full list of movies. I don't have anything on mine because I'm not listed any of them in here. But again, you'll use the form to list those in there. And then once you're all done, you'll save it and close everything out. And then it'll be grayed out. And then you can X out.